Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated typewriter text effect all within Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. So what I've got on the timeline is just a sample clip just to help you guys visualize. I know that's not a typewriter, that's a laptop. And I also have an audio sound effect that I got on a site called freesounds.org. A quick Google search will give you a bunch of free typewriting sound effects if you look for it. I'll leave a link to this one in the description below. So what I'm going to do is create a new text graphic using the new essential type tool. If you've updated your Premiere Pro, you should see both the essential graphics and essential sound panels. And in this panel, you'll be able to create text graphics more easily, almost like in Photoshop. So make sure you're in the program window, not the reference window, and you can click and get your cursor to begin creating your text graphic. So before I even type anything, I'm going to go to the effects control panel and turn on keyframe animation by hitting the stopwatch icon next to the source text menu. Now I'm also using a font called American Typewriter. I think most computers should come pre-installed with that. And you can choose whatever color and size that you want. Now what I'm gonna do is highlight that text and maybe you wanna type one letter cause it's kinda hard to find it with your cursor again. But basically, write the first letter of your word and you should see a diamond keyframe appear in the effects control panel. Now I just have to move a little bit over and then click and type out the second letter. So T Y and you see another keyframe appears in the source text. And when I go through and just space them out a couple seconds at a time, you can quickly type out the whole word letter by letter. Keep in mind that spaces do count as a letter. So you can have a whole keyframe just for a space. And also keep in mind that if you want to do some fun stuff like keeping an underscore the whole time, uh, leading your text, that could be a fancy little touch, but I'm going to keep it normal. And I finished up my word here. You see, we have a keyframe for every single character in the sentence. Now, what you can do if you're really trying to time it up with some video or audio is you can move these keyframes around and get the spacing of them exactly how you want. So maybe you want a couple letters to be typed real fast in succession. You could squeeze those keyframes closer together or spread things apart for a slower animation. But if I play that back for you guys, you'll see it's a pretty quick typewriter effect, pretty decent speed. And all of this animation info is all within this essential graphics layer, which I can actually move around. And another way that you could speed up or slow down the animation if you didn't want to go back and space out 20 different keyframes is by just stretching out this layer. So if I press R, I'll access the rate stretch tool and I can slow it down or speed it up. And that's a bit of a faster way to make the animation go faster. Another fun thing to keep in mind if you have the source text highlighted and the text tool active is you can actually go and make some deleting animation. So I can move over once I want people to have read the text and then start doing a deleting animation one letter at a time. And and the delete counts as a keyframe as well. So if I play that whole thing back, you can see the text animates on in those keyframes. It stays on the screen a bit for you to read, and then I can delete it off the screen. So yeah, I know that the guy's fingers are not matching with the letters that are coming on the screen, but you don't have to use that. You can just make this any title that you want. So you can do this letter by letter. You could do chunk by chunk or word by word. And it's good to understand that you can animate the source text within the new essential graphics text tool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not, so you stay tuned for all of my new videos, vlogs, live streams, whatever. And go follow me on social media at Justin OD Show, like Instagram. I'm real active on there. If you want to send me a message, reach out to me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.